Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. I am Mega Freak Von Nerd and Jelly Donuts. Again, they're not Jelly Donuts, they're rice balls, but. Or, there, someone's showing me a Japanese, um. The actual Japanese word for the name, but I don't know how to pronounce it because I can't even pronounce English words, so. It's like Oziyaku or. Oikawa or something, I don't know. Not Oikawa, but, um. Oh, look, potatoes. So yeah, these are potatoes, um. This will be good because we'll get some cash and we can finally uh, buy some things with this cash. Um, but yeah, potatoes are really probably the best uh, vegetable to plant. So I definitely recommend planting uh, potatoes uh, if you want to make probably the most profit. Uh, I'd almost start with turnips just to get a start, but uh, yeah, the thing is though, really no, because turnips, um, they'll give you a quick cash uh, increase, but Considering that they cost the same as potatoes, and potatoes don't take that much longer, I'd almost just go with potatoes. The cabbages really aren't worth it. Um, but you know, again, buying one you know thing of cabbage isn't that bad. You know, just buy one of them, and then um, you'll get a little bit of an increase. More so than like the potatoes, which uh, they'll give you a good increase, but not nearly as much as again the cabbages. The cabbages are definitely the most expensive vegetable of uh, ever. Um, so, let's see, uh, Mario Sports Mix is coming out pretty soon, I know, sports and farming, that doesn't really go together, um, it's, it's coming out quite, you know, it's 7th, I believe, for, uh, North America, and even sooner for Europe and Australia, and Japan, it's already out, I think it's out, I think it's already out for Europe and Australia, too, at this point, um, but, uh, that's a game I'm looking forward to, but at the same time, I'm... Okay, first off, A, Square, you need to stop putting your properties into other games. No one wants, or rather, most people don't want to see uh, a slime playing basketball. No one wants to see that, or most people don't want to see that. It, it just... It's it's dumb. I'm I'm sorry, but there's no reason for the Final Fantasy characters to be in a Mario Sports game. It, they did it once with Mario Hoops. Okay, it was interesting and unique. That's good. You don't need to do it twice. Um, and also the music is a little bit less lackluster than Hoops. Hoops three out of three had a great soundtrack. I think Sports Mix has a good soundtrack too, but it's definitely not nearly as catchy or awesome as um, Hoops' soundtrack. Uh, I think the gameplay will be great though. And it's online, which is nice uh, for those of you uh, who want a good, another good Wii game to play. Usually, you know, most online Wii games are Mario Kart Wii and Brawl. Um, you know, that's the thing. People complain about, you know, Wi-Fi not having, you know, Nintendo not having good Wi-Fi. The thing is, it's not even necessarily that they don't have good, uh, good online. It's more the fact that they don't have many games that use the online more so. Um, I mean, you think about Xbox, Xbox has a ton of games, and you look at uh, Nintendo, and there's not really that many. Um, at least compared, again, compared to other systems. Because uh, there's, there's Strikers, and then there's uh, Brawl, Cartwee, um, GoldenEye, there's, but, you know, there's probably more, but there's not that many online Wii games. So that's the thing, if there's one thing I say for Nintendo to fix their online, they need more online. They need an online Harvest Moon. That's what they need. Though I haven't tried any of the new Harvest Moons, like Harvest Moon for the Wii. There's, there's been, it was, you know, they had Harvest Moon 64, and then you had, um, like, Ma uh, Wonderful Life for GameCube. And then they released, like, 60,000 for the Wii and DS. Um, and they released, like, one for Wii where that's just you running a shop. I'm hesitant, again, I was, part of the reason I haven't bought any other Harvest Moons since this game is, I'm hesitant to play any other games because I really love this game, and I really didn't like the slow pace of. I, again, I'll play it again, but I didn't like the slow pace of Wonderful Life. So I haven't played any other games. But if there's any, um, those of you who have played this game or are watching this game, and uh, not even not even games that are similar to this, because I'm being very like, oh, I'm only going to play games like this. No, but if there's a game that you've played that may be different, maybe the same. You know, maybe actually different would probably be better. Um, but you think is also really good. You know, recommend me Harvest Moon. Maybe if I, um, you know, I have a twenty dollar gift card to GameStop, I could go buy it. I've also been thinking of getting the Professor Layton series, but um, whenever I go, I can't find any. Uh, I can't find uh, any of them. I can find the new one, 
but I wanted to find like the first. I should probably look up what the first game in the series is actually. Uh, for Professor Layton, since I, you know, I don't know really if it matters, but I, you know, I like playing games in order personally, unless like unless there's obviously no order. For example, if I play Super Mario World and then Super Mario Bros. Three, it's not gonna matter. But Professor Layton, it seems to matter a little bit, I would think. I mean, I know the game has story, and it has, like, cutscenes, and it has hats, and, you know, it's important to have, um, you know, kind of a look, or whatever I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, this is the church, and the church is, um, kind of ironic it's called a church, though, because it's praising a goddess, and technically isn't church referred to only, like, um, Christian, Christian churches, because I know, like, for, uh, Judaism, it's, uh, Judaism, it's, um, synagogues, and then mosques from, um, Islam, but, uh, I guess you could have a, a church for, like, the goddess. I'm um, the receptionist at the library, and this is Maria. Hmm, Maria, the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. Maria, okay, not really. Actually, I never really liked Maria, and she is one of the girls you can woo, and I don't know, I've, um, my cousin, I think, went after Maria. I've never been that interested in Maria. Uh, I will, once I, once I reveal who I'm actually going to go after, I do have a girl in mind, but uh, once I reveal who I'm actually going to, and going after is kind of probably a wrong way to say it, but that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, once I reveal who, which girl I'm going to woo, I will, um, uh, I will also say who the, the girl I wooed in the past was, because there's really only the other one other girl I went after, and she um she was she's not a bad pick, but you know looking back she's well I'm I'm it's spoilers no spoilers, so here we have uh, the green I always keep forgetting what their name is I'm just gonna call them the green green ranch green eggs and ham ranch so here we have the green eggs and ham ranch. Uh, and that's Anne, obviously. I've already, um, met her before. It's, it's interesting to see, uh, this is how our barn will eventually look to an extent, having a bunch of animals, um, you know, in here. Uh, like, though our horses won't be odd colors like that. I don't think you can get any, uh, I think your horse is always, wait, no, you only have one horse, what am I talking about? And now it's open, and we're going to do something that we've been waiting to do for a while. We're going to buy an animal, which I believe we have enough money for. Let's make sure. And obviously we can't buy a cow, but we can buy a chicken. So we will get our first animal, and chickens will be good because they'll help increase our funds because they'll lay an egg every day, which will uh, sell for... I don't know the exact price because I'm not paying attention, but... Uh... And yeah, you want to buy some chicken feed. Now here is something... I don't, with chicken feed, basically, um, I can't, I can't remember if, you have to feed your chicken every day, right? But, I, uh, there's, at some point you can basically, uh, make your chicken lay eggs to get baby chickens, and I never remember if you can, um, you know, f if you have to feed the baby chickens, or if you don't have to feed the baby chickens until they're grown up, like, if you have to give them feed as well. Feed's not that expensive, but, like, I don't know, I always just by default because I feel nice, it's just I feed all my chickens no matter whether or not they're, you know, you need to feed the baby chickens, but I still feed all my chickens, um, which I'll, I'll just, I'll probably keep doing whether or not someone lets me know if you, you know, have to feed the baby chickens, but, uh, you know, technically it's a waste of money, but it's, it's only 10G, and keep it in a shack, name it, and care for it. So yeah, uh, what shall we name our first chicken? Well, I have a idea. We shall name our chicken after a awesome, awesome person. So yeah, that is our first. Uh, this is gonna be the name of our first chicken. Um, the chicken will name will lay eggs, and uh, the eggs can be sold. And also, at this point, you really don't need to buy any more chickens uh, because. Even though it takes a little bit longer, uh, it, it makes more sense just to take any eggs your chicken lays and put them in an incubator. Um, there's an incubator in the chicken house uh, over there. And, um, yeah, I'm seeing if I can, I'm testing here to make sure my theory is right if I water those plants, if they will, only those ones will be watered. But yeah, that's Gaia the chicken. 
uh, Chicken Gaia, and um, so yeah, there's an incubator to the right, and if you put your egg in this incubator, uh, you will be able to, uh, you know, hatch a chicken after several days, and then, you know, it won't lay any eggs until it's a full-grown chicken, so it does take longer than, you know, just buying a chicken who will lay eggs the next day. You know, so if you have enough funds, it's worth buying a chicken, but, um, cows is not, you can do the same thing with cows. You, you don't just set a cow on a, you know, don't set milk on an incubator and then it will become a cow, no, but, um, you can, uh, you can birth cows, but, uh, with cows, I almost feel it's better just to buy them because then you can start producing right away. Um, but with chickens, it doesn't take that long, and because this is the beginning of the game and I'm low on funds, I'd rather just wait for the chickens to grow as opposed to um, wasting more money when I'm trying to start saving it up. And yeah, this is the master of the bakery, doling out the cakes, ready with a pie and a chocolate shake. Uh, so he is... Uh, really, the bakery, the only point is, um, again, just to buy cakes and give them to people. Uh, you can also, I think you can eat, you can eat food, as I've mentioned. And I think you need to eat food to keep your energy up, but I never really do that unless I'm just, like, goofing around. I'm like, I'm going to eat a berry. But, um, I never find myself really eating food, which might be a good thing or a bad thing, but I never see it being that big of a deal, personally. And here is the vineyard house, and this guy is still busy. How are you always busy? Like, I know you run a vineyard, but last time you were at a bar, you can't be that busy. And yeah, this, uh, the lady of the vineyard, uh, is depressed because Karen is a brat. Why? Because, well, she is. And yeah, someone responded saying, well, Karen's pretty much the easiest to woo. I really... Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure she's not, because I know the way you're supposed to get her is this really elaborate um, plan to save this place, the vineyard. There is a way to, you know, to save it. Uh, and here's where they straw all the alcohol. There is a secret here that I can't uh, show off yet, but I will show it off later. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, so the only way I think is possible to get her, like, uh, on seven days is if you use uh, the glitch where you show her your dog, and she's like... Oh my god, dog, I love you. So, um, unless you do that, I don't think there's any way to get her within seven days. I don't believe. I think that's the only way. And, and in that case, she's the easiest girl. But she's supposed to be the hardest girl to woo. And now that we have a chicken, every time we wake up, we will hear the chicken cawing uh, or crowing. I guess cawing. Well, I hate to say crowing, though, because it's not a crow, it's a chicken. But... Probably crow is might be the uh, correct terminology. I can't say for sure. And yeah, um, you who brother. Yeah, these kids are gonna be annoying because they'll come for like random events. Came to see your chicken. It lays eggs, right? I want to collect. No, I want to make money. See you, dang kids on my lawn. Lawn, get off my lawn, kids. Um, but uh. Yeah, the chicken will crow. And also, now we have chicken feed. Uh, chicken feed is going to be an item in our inventory. Uh, if you have too many items in your inventory, the little uh, crate in your house, you can store them in there. Uh, which you'll eventually need to do because you'll have too many items that you can have them on hand. Uh, uh, tools I recommend storing are uh, the, the scythe. I don't find you, uh, myself using the scythe all that much. And eventually the hammer, once you start clearing out there. Because really the only reason you use the hammer is for the rocks, I think. Um, there might be something later on that you use the hammer for. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head at the moment, but the hammer's not that much. It doesn't have that much of a use. But at the beginning of the game, it does. Um, so yeah, watering our potatoes, and then we'll have to check on our chickens. Do, do, do. This, yeah, this song right here isn't... I don't really like this song as much. There's um every time you, the season change, you'll get a different song. I really like the uh, summer song, and well, winter is kind of depressing. And I don't really remember the one for fall actually, even though I was listening to the soundtrack not too uh, long ago. So yeah, uh, every morning our uh, Gaia will lay an egg, and for this morning, as opposed to selling it, I will incubate it and have uh, make Gaia have a baby. Well, not really make Gaia have a baby, but Gaia will have birth. No way I'm going to say it's going to make it sound. Gaia's egg will... No. Um, 
yeah. So, um, eventually, yeah, I want to get all these stumps taken care of because, uh, it's valuable wood. You definitely, want, again, definitely want wood. Um, you might not at the moment see the importance of wood, but, uh, basically the extensions that you can build stuff, you need wood for extensions as I mentioned uh, before, and you're going to really want those extensions. There's one in particular that, uh, besides I think some of them being required, there's one in particular that is very useful, and if you have that extension, uh, it'll make your life so much better. Yeah, the first, the, these, this first few days are going to be a lot of, or these first few, um, months, actually, because you have to play for two years, technically, and oh, here's a new feature, um, when you use an item long enough, I think I mentioned this, it will power up, I now have the silver hammer, and if you hold the, uh, button, which I'm not doing, but if you hold the button, um, I don't really need to do it, because these go in one anyway, but if you hold the button and charge it, you will be able to smash quicker, uh, you can do this for all of the, uh, items, and it's most useful for, like, the axe and, uh, the watering can definitely it really helps with the watering can um but that's about all the time actually to be honest so we got quite a bit done today we got a new chicken we got a new hammer and the bar is closed on sundays dropped well i have been make 400 and next time we will continue on with our farming escapades of escapadicalness which isn't a word but who cares um i'm reminding you that uh, you should name all your chickens Gaia.